how to collect a breath sample for the two hour or three hour small intestinal bacterial overgrowth test. First, let's examine the specimen collection pack you received from your healthcare provider. Inside you'll find a mouthpiece with breath collection plastic bag, eight vacuum sealed tubes, labels for the tubes, a small container of lactulose solution, a return mailing envelope for your specimen collection pack, your collection instructions. Now let's get ready for your test. Wait four weeks from your last dose of antibiotics, colonoscopy, or barium enema. Wait at least two to four weeks from your last dose of antifungals, peptobismol, or herbal and natural antimicrobial products. Seven days before the test, avoid the use of laxatives, stool softeners, and any stool bulking agents, as well as the use of antacids containing aluminum or magnesium hydroxide. 24 hours before the test, you must limit your diet. Here are foods that you can eat before you start your 12-hour fast. Baked or broiled chicken, fish or turkey, salt and pepper only, white bread only, plain steamed white rice, eggs, clear chicken or beef broth with no vegetable pieces. Do not take probiotics. 12 hours before the test, you should fast. This means do not eat or drink anything other than water during the 12 hour time frame. Do not take non-essential medications or supplements until the test is completed unless your physician has advised you otherwise. Do not chew gum, eat candy, or use mouthwash until the test is completed. One hour before the test. Please do not smoke for at least one hour before or at any time during the breath test. This includes exposure to secondhand smoke. Refrain from sleeping or vigorous exercise for at least one hour before or at any time during the breath test. Do not use toothpaste. For more details on preparing for this test, please visit our website at... Now let's begin the collection. For each collection label, write your name, the clinician's name, and date of collection. Number the labels 1 through 6 for the 2-hour test or 1 through 8 for the 3-hour test. To ensure accurate test results, it's very important that you provide the requested information. Pour the 8 ounces of water into the cup and stir the solution until it is fully dissolved. Set the cup aside until you have completed your first breath collection. Next, you'll want to brush your teeth and tongue without using toothpaste or mouthwash. Brush the back of your tongue as well. Rinse your mouth with water. Take your first collection vial and attach the first sticker you filled out to it. This will be vial number one of your collection. Pick up the mouthpiece, plastic bag, and vial number one. Breathing normally, inhale and hold your breath for five seconds. Close your mouth tightly around the mouthpiece and exhale normally, filling the bag completely. With the bag expanded, press the vial into the side tube of the mouthpiece, puncturing the tube seal. Stop exhaling and remove the tube within two seconds. Immediately drink the entire lactulose solution within five minutes and record the time you drank the solution on the front of the requisition included in your sample collection pack. Do not drink water for one hour after drinking the solution. Wait 20 minutes after collecting the first vial and continue with vial number two. Be sure to repeat the collection exactly as you did before by labeling and numbering the remaining tubes then record the time of collection on the requisition. Wait 20 minutes after collecting vial number two and continue collection with vial number three. Record the time of collection on the requisition. Wait 20 minutes after collecting vial number three and continue collection with vial number four. Record the time of collection on the requisition. Wait 30 minutes after collecting vial number four and continue collection with vial number five. Record the time of collection on the requisition. Wait 30 minutes after collecting vial number five and continue collection with vial number six. If you are collecting for the two hour test, this will conclude your collection process. Record the time of collection on the requisition 
If you are collecting for the three hour test, continue on to vial number seven. If continuing for the three hour test, wait 30 minutes after collecting vial number six and continue collection with vial number seven. Record the time of collection on the requisition. Wait 30 minutes after collecting vial number seven and continue collection with vial number eight. Record the time of collection on the requisition. This concludes your collection process for the three hour test. Fill in the date of collection on the top of the requisition front. Make sure all of tube collection times are entered on the requisition schedule. On the back, fill in your name, date of birth, gender, and other important information. Make sure all vial labels are filled out completely, including collection times, and place them in the bubble wrap bags. This will protect your samples while being shipped back to Genova Diagnostics. Place the bubble wrapped vials and your completed requisition, along with any necessary payment, back in the specimen collection pack and close it. The specimens must be returned in the Genova Diagnostics Specimen Collection Pack.